Hello, hello, hello. Um, today I want to talk about phone organizing your phone apps and just cleaning up your phone. So my phone screen timed out. So <laughs> I was talking. So um, since that's a majority of what we're talking about, I will make that full screen. So um, using this fun app that projects my um, phone up onto the computer. So this is my home screen on my iPhone. And it will be very similar on an Android phone on how you place your phone apps. But um, I'm sure a lot of you know this, but not everyone does. So that's why I wanted to share. Just because that when you download this app, let me find the last thing I downloaded. I need to clean up my apps and I'm going to do that while we're talking. But um, like Shazam was probably one of the last things that I downloaded. So it goes on the last page. So on an iPhone, it kind of automatically groups your apps if you keep scrolling um, on by what they are. Um, but I like to make them to work the way my mind works. And if you didn't already know this, you can just go to search and um, that's how I get to like, you know, if I'm gonna do some online banking, I go right there. Um, but I only keep apps on my homepage that I pretty much access every single day. If I access it less than five times a week, it's not gonna be on this home screen, unless it's in one of these folders um, per se. And um, whoops, got a message text message while we're talking, sorry. Um, so you can easily, you grab, what you wanna do is see all those little icons and then I can move this and now let's say I put it in there and it just automatically called that lifestyle. Now I don't want these two apps to be in the same folder per se, but I just wanted to show you how easy it was to put two apps in a folder. And then you touch it and you can, um, I have no idea what I would call these two. So um, we'll just say life for now, but you can change it to anything you want. And then click done, touch it. As soon as it stops jumping, it's good to go. By the way, the Serenity app, I love. It's a very simple meditation app that I use for like really short meditations. Oops, there, my husband's calling me while I'm doing a live. Um, <laughs> all kinds of alerts. Um, but like I have communication and this is where I have my personal email. I have Yahoo in here, even though I never access that account, but occasionally I do. So I have to access the app. Um, Zoom, FaceTime, Blue Mail is my business email, Slack, um, social, that's where I have Facebook, Instagram, all the social media. Um, Bitmoji I keep within that um, because it's related to social media. I have a photos and videos, imagine that. Um, where I can, anything that kind of has to do with photos or videos, smug bug, I need to put, move my Nick's play app in there. Um, so we're going to just grab that. I'm gonna slide it over, put it there and actually that I access more than I don't even remember what Pixar is, so I'm going to move Smug Mug over to Forever is important to me. All good. Um, 
but I also want to say definitely look at your apps on your a regular basis just when you're sitting somewhere and you know you're waiting in line at the drive through at the bank or something and just say oh do i use this alarm clock app nope and i can just go remove app delete app and clean up space that way um this parent playground, I find it really interesting, but I haven't used it. So I'm gonna try to remember it, but I'm gonna remove that app. So I would love to hear your questions about organizing um, your apps, but I hope that helps. <laughs>